Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The big news today is, oh wait, the dark night rises again. Well, the dark night, yes, this is the third part, third one with Christian Bell of Batman that's hitting the theaters, actually tomorrow night at midnight. But it's already being affected because of lack of it, availability of 3D theaters. Really? For IMAX? Oh yeah, Spider-Man still in the theater. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> now you've got the cookie monster. Cookie monster. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, because they're just, uh, Obama's attacks are, are, are connected even to the Batman movie, where the main character, a bad guy in the movie, is named Bane. And he's trying to destroy our country. Really? Yeah, they basically, that didn't go over well with a lot of people. You know, because it basically, when when English, okay, Nolan is English, Bell is English. Well, I mean, at least the guy playing Bane did thought twice about it because he said he doesn't support this president. And he, he doesn't believe in his policies, but it has to do with money, so he took the character. Would Al-Qaeda's wildfire ember bomb really work? Probably, because it's so simple. You just simply, you know, kill a lot of people with something very inexpensive. That's all it takes. That's oh, really? That's pointing. all it takes? Because, I mean, they were pointing out, I mean, okay, the, you know that Fox News is in the tank for the president when Lou Dobbs, for instance, is talking about, we have to pull our troops back because they're, they're expending virtually nothing to kill us and we're spending a fortune to kill them. So we should pull our troops back to within our country's borders. And then we could cut back on expenses in the military and help to balance the budget. That's, that's left-wing Democrats speaking, not Lou Dobbs, who used to be a conservative. And the one word that's ruining political reporting. Uh, uh, it very simply, I love that same one. You have, you, basically, it's more than one word. You have to understand. Oh. Basically, understand is the word. That's what they talk about last night. Oh, I mean, I, I heard a guy that's basically a left-winger going after a couple of left-wingers about, he, he said, did you or did you not just read the words that Barack Obama said uh, said directly about the government being responsible? And they said, well, he didn't mean it in that context. No. Did he say it? Well, he didn't mean it in that context. And then they go, well, you have to understand, he didn't mean it in that context, but he got excited. You have to understand, and, you, and he said, no, I don't have to understand. I ask a question, did he or did he not say what he said? But you have to understand. Mm -hmm. See why they're, uh, when you're getting left-wing news people are getting pissed about that stuff, you're in trouble. And man sets house on fire after using blowtorch on spider webs. Yeah, that's really stupid. I mean, if the spider webs are combustible to begin with, they can go kaboom like that. Basically, you can get a flash fire real quickly. Really? Well, apparently he didn't know that. See, what happens is people that basically use flame to, um, to for instance, uh, de de uh, web a home or de web um, or, or take down wasp nests basically don't use a flame. They don't use a blowtorch to do it. They use a special device that has a wide mouth end on it and basically puts out a very controlled light flame across the area. Oh, is that what they do? Yeah. Oh. And Romney says it's Obama who is the outsource, outsourcer in chief owner. Well, yeah, because Obama, okay, they just pointed out to see he, you know, his, uh, his solar stuff is being made in Mexico and China. His Frisker automobile is being made in Finland. They're basically just one company after another that he's paying foreign countries workers to build products for, that he's paying for. I mean, we realize he's also the largest supporter of the Chinese solar industry that they have because they, they, what, he's got $9 billion invested in building the stuff that he wants to sell in our country. And power finally back on for many mid-Atlantic residents. What I find to be totally ridiculous. The problem comes is that what they're doing when they're putting, the, they're rebuilding the system really rebuilding it. They're putting new infrastructure in, and the new infrastructure takes time to do. They only replace the old infrastructure if you lose it. New infrastructure takes a long time and it's very expensive, and people really get unhappy when they have no power because new lines, new power, and everything is being put in. And U.S. private sector adds 176,000 jobs in June. Only problem is they also uh, let go over 110,000. 
Oh, and that does that probably includes the part time work, huh? Yeah, well, they didn't hire part timers this time. This is oh. full time workers that lost their jobs because factory of uh, the, the market's up to date. We'll say, how can the market be up to date? Because what the Obama couldn't understand would happen. The pharmaceutical companies are all buying one another. The hospitals are all buying pharmaceutical companies. There's a tremendous today. Everyone is buying everybody. And one of the Democrats, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Things were supposed to get cheaper. Well, as you have consolidation, they get more expensive. And Syria pummels rebels as battered city collects bodies. Well, they're going to pummel them more because the Russians are not Russians. He who controls the entrance to the Middle East controls, you know, their own destiny. He, he controls Damascus, which is the largest deep sea port in the Middle East. And, you know, you can go down the Suez Canal, but you can't park your boats in it, but you can Damascus. And some Florida residents protesting mutual mosquito plan. What is it? It's gonna, they're going to introduce a new strain of mosquitoes to stop the mosquito problem. That always works well. Try fruit flies in California. That really works very well there. And Arizona immigration law foes launch a new offensive. Even though the Supreme Court says it's legal, they don't care. It's just like uh, uh, Democrats do not care about the law. I mean, the, in, in Chicago, the mayor of Chicago says we're no longer going to support any laws dealing with the, with, uh, our, with the guests in our country. But he said, yeah, of course, if they break if they commit a felony or a murder, and then they said, but the police officers are told in Chicago not to hassle them under any circumstances, which means he gave gave the illegals in the city of Chicago the right to rob, pillage, anything they want to do, which he didn't. The, he, they're going he, back to the drawing board this morning after they realized what they'd done. And report behind the scenes of Romney's vice presidential search. Well, they said he's already... Uh, is already found that it's, it, you know, it's got to be somebody dull like him or Condoleezza Rice, which everybody knows it's not going to be. Basically, Romney, they said, in reality, does not want somebody that's going to take away from him. That's called ego. Yeah. Yeah. That's why they think Steve Paul, uh, Tim Pawlenty will probably be the choice. The, the two most boring candidates that you could go are Portman and Pawlenty, and they figure either one of them are likely to get it because they're intellectuals that actually have been governors and senators. Well, but still, they're, they're boring, they're, they have the charisma of, of, of Romney. <laughs> and he has none. <laughs> and White House defense tax plan against study. Okay, Ernst and Young is for God awful <coughs> big time Democrats. They put out the thing that Obama's tax plan is gonna cost 700,000 jobs first year alone, and he said, you can't believe this Republican tax. No, Ernst and Young are Democrats. And Palin endorses Sarah Steelman in Missouri's Senate primary. You know, that, because she's going to, she'll probably, Claire McCaskill is on every side of every issue trying to stay in office. And in Missouri, they'll bounce her out because they don't like, they don't, they, they are heavily against Obamacare. They actually have a state, it's in the Constitution of State uh, that they will not take Obamacare, so. Eleven countries now restrict indoor tanning before the age 18. You know, the problem is if you tan at home, they, it basically sort of makes it irrelevant. Oh. Yeah, because they come to you. That's right. And they do the spray tanning. Um, now, I'm, I'm just curious, is, is that indoor tanning booths or is that spray tanning? That's tanning booths. Mm. And UK government releases X-Files UFO document. I know, which means they're saying that they're basically, they have been chasing UFOs for some time. If the military in England admits that they are chasing UFOs, then UFOs do exist, but who makes them is another. Whether the UFO comes from here or comes from there, who knows? Well, isn't that like a bug? It's an unidentified flying object if you don't know what bug it is. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and FDA approves a weight loss pill. Yeah, they said it's got god awful big side effects. So I heard doctors saying don't. I wouldn't advise anyone take it because it can really be bad for you. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. I know. Sometimes things do come good in small packages. Mm, there you go.